you actually don't know me. It's just a drive, you know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, hey, yeah. that my fault. That my fault. You got me off guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't let you know me, dog. Yeah, you know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous natural hair videos, I shared that I'm on a hair growth journey and one way to grow your hair is to leave it alone. So I've been doing a great deal of protective styling. In the past video, I had mini twists in, but I realized that those were a little too small for my hair. So I decided to do these braids and twist the ends. So I'm gonna show you guys how I protect the style while using clip ends, which is gonna still help my hair to grow in the process. And I know you guys are so tempted to take your braids down or your twists down, but stop it. You wanna leave your hair alone. That is going to be key in growing your hair and also retaining length. So remember that guys, hands off, but don't worry, you can still rock the natural hair look and look oh so bomb in the process by using wigs or clip-ins. Today I'm going to be showing you all clip-ins from Curls Curls. These are their kinky curly clip-ins and I got mine in color 1B. I actually got two bundles and I got them in length 18. Now these mimic the texture 3C4A and although that is not my texture, I'm going to show you guys how I blend. These clip-ins also came with additional clips, but before we get into installing the clip-ins, I am going to start by co-washing the hair with the conditioner. Now when I co-wash my clip-ins, I like to leave them bound together with the zip tie that they come secured in. I also like to detangle during the co-washing process with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. As you can see, conditioning and detangling is going to bring the curls to life. This hair looks so luscious and let me tell y'all, it felt like butter. Hey, can you just chill bro? It's just a draft. Now these are my two staple products that I like to apply to my kinky curly extensions or wigs. I'm going to apply this all over the hair in a generous amount and then after doing that I'm going to further detangle and define the curls. After doing this I'm going to leave it to air dry overnight and then we're going to proceed to install. Now y'all know I wasn't gonna leave y'all hanging. Many of you asked in my last video how I refresh or re-moisturize my hair for hair growth under my latest natural hair videos. Well, I typically start by spraying in the fenugreek and aloe vera leave-in, which I did end up combining this time. And if you haven't seen those videos, be sure to check them out. I follow that up with my raw neem butter and I apply that to the ends of my hair. After doing so, the last step is to seal with my DIY hair growth oil. And that video will be my next natural hair video on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and also turn on your notifications so that you know when I post a new video. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my scalp and then on my ends. Maybe wanna get all my feet, step into the groove. hydrated I'm gonna pin it up in the back and begin preparing for my clip-in install Now it's time to prep my leave out so that it blends with the clip-ins. Again, I am 4B, 4C, and these clip-ins are actually 3C, 4A. So I have to make sure that I manipulate my hair in such a manner to where it will blend. Now taking my hair down, you can see that it's very hydrated, it's super moisturized, but I wanna make sure that it blends. So I'm gonna apply some products that I told you guys about in the past. I'm gonna show you guys that process now. I'm just gonna part it off. And the cool thing about wearing clip-ins is that you don't have to leave out a lot of your hair, so it can be a protective style. This is not a lot. I ended up putting some more back. I didn't show that, but I did. I'm gonna apply this product first, which is my favorite product. The Dark and Lovely Curl Defining Glaze is so awesome and it really helps to moisturize your hair. I like to apply this prior to applying gel because it really helps to keep my hair from being too stiff and it also helps to give it more shine. So I'm just gonna apply the Eco Styler Gel first and then I'm gonna follow it up with the Got To Be Glue in the Yellow Bottle. <laughs> Tell you something. Lately, I've been wondering if you could be my forever. 
See you was like God, he must be up to something. Now this next step is optional, but I found it very effective in helping to stretch my hair. So I like to put on a stocking cap in the back and then I'm gonna take my hair, the section that's left out, and I'm gonna wrap it around the nape of the back of my head. And then I'm gonna cover my hair with the stocking cap. After doing this side, I'm gonna complete the same process on the opposite side and then allow it to set overnight. My God, he must be up to something. No, you tired of running. Let's just stay here together. I know your mama told you don't let guys go running off with your love. You don't even open up, so your heart can't get crushed. You've been let down so many times you want if you need to get up. You done been through too much, but I ain't tryna mess this up. Let's get away. We can take a trip to the bay. Hit the beach, take a vacay. Whatever you like, yeah. Whatever you like. All right, it's the next morning and now it's time to install the clip in. So this is what my leave out looks like. My edges and everything are nice and laid. I know some of you guys were probably concerned about the white residue, but that does dissolve overnight, especially if you wrap it. And my hair is very defined and will blend very well with these clip ins As you can see, it's super stretched, super moisturized, and it should have a good amount of hold. Oh my, my. You done stressing the night. Stay All right, y'all, now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna begin installing the clip ins This is what they look like. They have air dried overnight, and I will say that I did need to let them air dry a little longer. They were a little damp, but I'm gonna still install them. I feel like once I separate and install them to my hair, they'll naturally just air dry on their own, and they should be fine. Probably within an hour or so, they'll be fully dry. So this is what the clips look like on the clip ins I'm gonna open them up and I like to start installing my clip ins from the top down to the bottom of my head. That's something different than most people but I do that because it allows for me to number one ensure that I have enough clip ins and if I were to run out it won't matter because I've already covered the top and the bottom you really won't have to worry about because no one will see that anyway so it really won't matter. It also helps me to be more effective in the placement of my clip ins but do whatever works best for you. Now because our goal is the protective style you want to make sure that you install these clip ins properly so that you're not receiving any extra tension or any additional no stress on your hair look at how well it blends so I'm gonna show you guys what I do make sure that you insert the comb into your hair and then pull up away from your scalp and then clip it don't go directly into your scalp because that is gonna hurt these clip-ins don't hurt my head at all. Whenever I wear clip-ins, I don't feel like they're even there. So after pulling your clip-ins apart, find a piece that will fit the section you're working on. 10 pieces come in each set, by the way, and depending on the type of volume you want, you may be able to get away with just one bundle. And ooh, this will be a style. Ow. So after doing this, you wanna open up your clip-ins and begin installing. But when you do so, be sure to insert into your hair, not your scalp, lift up away from your hair, and then you're gonna close your clip-ins. In. You should not feel any pain if you do it that way. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world, they wanna be her And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever She lives a double life, puts on a show What's under the subtle smile? She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my 
So we're all done installing the clip ins and I used about a bundle and a half. I did have some left over and as you all can see my hair did frizz up just a little bit but we're going to fix that. So I'm just going to begin to blend everything, make sure I'm covering all the west, pulling my hair over the back and as you all can see it looks so good but I'm going to show you guys how we can fix my hair and make it blend. So it's going to be a really quick and easy fix. I'm just going to add gossipy glue to the end of my strands where they are frizzy and I'm just going to rub my hair finger comb and make sure that I intertwine my hair in with the extensions. And just a quick disclaimer, my hair doesn't typically do this, but because the extensions were still damp, when my hair touched the extensions, it caused it to frizz up, but adding more gel will definitely help. I also later decided to go in with some more of the curl defining glaze, and that's gonna cause the ends to be more defined. Right now they do look a little frizzy because I did separate them while they were still wet, which I'll learn my lesson. Um, I won't do that again. I'll make sure they're fully dry. But going in and using this product is going to help to bring more definition and a bit more curl to the ends. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be her. to see her there must be something about her features you'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her she's a mona lisa all right guys that's the end of this video i hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed seeing how i still protective style while attempting to grow my hair and you can still get the natural hair look and look amazing with it with great extensions be sure to check the description box for all the links and specifications for these curly clip-ins i look forward to your comments and feedback also be sure to leave feedback regarding your healthy hair growth journey let me know what you guys are doing in the comment section i'm sure it will help me and somebody else but i love you guys these clip-ins are so bomb be sure to check them out I I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.